All right, welcome to our last video for these conversion problems. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of more of these problems, and here's some more multi-step ones. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to convert 0 0.8 grams to tons. Hmm, where did I get that idea from? All right, so let's see. We've got to go think about a couple things we know, because we can't go directly from grams to tons. We can go from grams to kilograms, and we know that there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. We can go from kilograms to pounds, and we know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. And we know that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. So then how do we set this up? Can you do it? Give it a try. All right, let's see how you did. 0 0.8 grams, i got to live myself a lot of room here, is going to be equal to a certain number of tons. Okay, so first thing that we want is kilograms. So what you want over grams. Next thing that we want is pounds. So what you want or what you got. And finally, we want tons. So we'll go what you want over what you got. All right. So grams will cancel, kilograms will cancel, pounds will cancel, and we're left with tons. Good. So we did our dimensional analysis correctly. All right. Let's figure this out. 1,000 grams for one kilogram. So we divided by 1,000 down here for one. 2.2 pounds per kilogram. So it's 2.2 pounds per kilogram. And 2,000 pounds per ton. So it's oh, two thousand pounds per one ton so we have 0 0.8 divided by a thousand times 2.2 that divided by 2000 and our handy dandy calculator tells us it is 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative seventh tons all right let's do another 45.4 seconds to years all right well do we know how many seconds in a year if you do, I'm impressed, but I don't know off the top of my head, so I've got to figure some stuff out here. I'm going to say, I don't know how many seconds in a minute. I know there are 60 minutes in one hour. I know there's 24 hours in a day. And I know there's 365 days in one year. All right, this time I'm really going to have to write small because i got a lot of steps. This is a four-stepper. So 45.4 seconds is going to be equal to some number years. So seconds to minutes. So what do I want? Minutes. What do I got? Seconds. I um, can do to hours. So I want hours. I got minutes. Next days, I want days, I have hour, and finally, I want years, and I have days. Okay, so one minute is 60 seconds, or 60 seconds per minute. So 60 seconds per one minute, 60 minutes per one hour, 24 hours per one day. <sighs> And 365 days per one year. Cancel my units. Seconds are gone. Minutes are gone. Hours are gone. Days are gone. And I'm left with years. Hip, hip, hooray. So I plug into my calculator. 45.4 divided by 60. That answer divided by 60. That answer divided by 24. That answer divided by 365. And I get 1.4 four times 10 to the minus six years. A real teeny tiny problem. I mean, real teeny tiny number. Okay, let's do some more. Well, think about now converting a complex unit. 
But then we'll stop with that one. So what's a complex unit? Well, we're not only going to have sometimes something, only something like 7.21 grams, but sometimes we could have 7.21 grams per cubic centimeter, right? And we're talking about density, which we're going to do in the next video. So let's say we're going to convert this to this. Well, we know that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And there are 1 times 10 to the 6th cubic centimeters in 1 meter. All right, so we're going to start here with 7.21 grams. And whenever we do math, we don't want to draw the little line like this. We want to always draw it like this per cubic centimeter. And that's like saying per 1 cubic centimeter. Okay, but we usually don't bother writing that. And back here, we're going to need a certain number of kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, now the trick for these is to deal with only one unit at a time. So first, we're going to deal with the grams. Right? We want kilograms on top, and we've got grams, so we're going to multiply this times a certain number of kilograms per gram, and that'll cancel our grams. Next, we want cubic meters on the bottom. Okay, so here it's going to be a little flip around from the typical what you want over what you got. We're just going to put the note what we want on the bottom, which is cubic meters, and put what we're trying to get rid of on the top, which is cubic centimeters. And we'll see that when we cancel stuff out, those will all cancel, and we'll be left with kilograms on the top and cubic meters on the bottom. And that's what we want for our answer. So there is, oh, I made a mistake here, it should be a thousand grams per kilogram. So we got a thousand grams per one kilogram and one times 10 to the six cubic centimeters. So one times 10 to the six cubic centimeters per one meter. We do, we punch these into the calculator, 7.21 divided by a thousand. That answer times 1 times 10 to the 6th, and we get 7210 kilograms per cubic meter, or in scientific no notation, 7.21 times 10 cubed. And there we go. All right, I was going to give you a really tough one, but I'm thinking that I might save that for right after your summary in class tomorrow to see if anybody can do it on their own and then we'll do it together in class. If you want to give it a go, here it is. There are seven times 10 to the six red blood cells in one cubic millimeter of blood. How many red blood cells are in one liter? Maybe I can give an extra credit point or so to anybody who can figure that out on their own before class tomorrow. All right, guys. See you in school.